if they really get that out of them, out, out of him, excuse me, out of that, out of him in this season, that's going to make BYU far more effective than I think most people might realize going into the season. Because when he was at his best at USC, you you all saw it. Great deep ball, able to attack all angles of the field and really had a fine command of that offense. Now, on the Aaron Roderick side of things, Aaron has been a guy who's developed two NFL quarterbacks in a row. And, um, you know, once again, you and I have talked about this so much, but like BYU making an adjustment to the Big 12 is going to be different because their schedule with independent, like, you know, it's they they challenge themselves in a different way. I mean, there, there were years where they played four or five Pac-12 schools in a single season sometimes. It's, yeah, they, they went five and over to the Pac-12 two seasons ago. They have right. played as many as seven Power 5 games in a single season. Actually, that year they went five and over to the Pac-12. They actually played seven Power 5 games that year. 